Hey there, future off-grid legends. If you've ever thought about going off the grid, preparing for emergencies, or just want a solid backup water source for your homestead, then this video is for you. Today, we're diving deep, pun intended, into one of the most important off-grid essentials, installing a manual water pump that doesn't need a single drop of electricity. We're talking about self-reliance, resilience, and building a utility that works when the lights go out. Whether you're prepping for a storm, building your own self-sufficient paradise, or just want that peace of mind, this build is a rock-solid foundation. So grab a wrench, bring your curiosity, and let's install a manual hand pump that'll serve you for decades to come. Why a manual water pump is essential off-grid? Let's begin by answering the biggest question. Why install a manual water pump in the first place? Imagine this, the power grid is down, you're off in the woods, or maybe a storm just rolled through and knocked out utilities. What's the one thing you can't live without? Water, clean, reliable, drinkable water. You can last weeks without food, but only days without water. That's where the manual hand pump becomes your best friend. Unlike electric or gas-powered pumps, manual pumps require zero electricity, zero batteries, and zero fuel. You provide the power with good old-fashioned elbow grease. This means they'll always work, no matter the circumstances. Whether you're living off-grid by choice or preparing for the worst, manual pumps give you independence from the system. Plus, they're simple. No wires to break, no motors to fail, no software updates to install. It's just a handle, a pipe, and the ability to pull fresh groundwater with your own hands. They're cost-effective too. Once you install one, your maintenance needs are minimal and your water supply becomes virtually free. In an era of increasing uncertainty, climate disruptions, and utility failures, a manual pump isn't just a tool, it's peace of mind in metal form. And hey, when your neighbors are boiling puddle water during a blackout, you'll be filling jugs like a legend. Choosing the right manual pump for your setup. All right, now that we're sold on the why, let's talk about the what, because not all manual pumps are created equal, and choosing the right one can make or break your setup. First, know your water table. That's how deep underground the water sits. Shallow well pumps can pull water from up to about 25 feet deep, while deep well pumps can go 100 feet or more. If your water's deep, you'll need a pump built for the job. Don't cheap out here. There are two main categories, pitcher pumps for shallow wells and deep well hand pumps, often using a lever or suction rod mechanism. Brands like Bison, Simple Pump, and Flojek make rugged pumps that can go deep and last decades. Next, material matters. Go for stainless steel or corrosion-resistant metals. You don't want your water touching cheap plastic or rust-prone iron. Also, check the flow rate, how much water you get per pump stroke. You want a pump that can fill a bucket in a minute or less without breaking your back. Finally, consider ease of maintenance. Look for pumps with common parts, easy access to seals, and clear manuals. Remember, this isn't a garden toy. This is your lifeline when the world goes dark. Choose durability over bells and whistles. Quick challenge. Think about this. If the power went out right now for two weeks, how would you get your water? Would you have to drive somewhere? Would you rely on bottled cases? Or would you walk to your backyard and pump clean groundwater like a boss? Stick around, because next we're going hands-on with the installation, prepping the site and tools. Before you start pumping, you need to prepare. And trust me, this part is crucial. A good installation starts with smart planning. First off, identify your water source. If you already have a well, great, you are ahead of the game. If not, you'll need to drill one, and that's a whole process involving professional well diggers or DI may otters if you're feeling adventurous. We're assuming in this build that the well already exists. Next up, check that the well casing is compatible with your pump. Most manual pumps are designed to mount on a standard 4 casing, but adapters are available for different sizes. Clean the well cap and surrounding area thoroughly. You don't want to introduce debris during the install. As for tools, you'll need a wrench set, Teflon tape, pipe clamps, pipe sealant, possibly a tripod hoist if dealing with a deep drop. Also, make sure you have a helper. Trust me, guiding long drop pipes down a well shaft is not a one-person job. Finally, lay everything out beforehand. Know which pieces go where. Once you start lowering pipe, 
Mistakes are a pain to fix. Prep like a pro, and the rest of the job flows smoothly. Installing the pump, step by step. All right, here's where the magic happens. The actual installation. Step one, assemble your drop pipe. This is the vertical pipe that goes down into the well and connects the handle above to the water below. For deep wells, this pipe may come in segments, connected with couplings and sealed tightly. Use Teflon tape and pipe sealant on each thread. Step two, attach the foot valve or cylinder to the bottom of the drop pipe. This is the part that actually lifts the water, like the heart of the system. Lower it slowly into the well. Go easy. Let gravity do its thing and guide it carefully to avoid banging the sides. Step three, once the pipe is fully lowered, mount the pump body to the well casing. Use a gasket or sealant to prevent leaks. Secure the pump tightly with bolts. Step four, attach the handle. This is usually the last piece and often just slides into a slot or hinge. Now the fun part, give it a few pumps. You might feel resistance. You might hear gurgling and then swish, water, cold, fresh, gravity-defying water. Take a moment, that's your independence in action. Picture this, you're out on your land, the sun's going down, there's no hum of power lines or tap water running through pipes. And yet, with a few strong pumps, you've got cold water filling your jug. That's not just survival, that's thriving. Let's talk next about maintenance, because this thing is going to be your water BFF maintaining and troubleshooting your manual pump. Now that your pump is up and running, let's make sure it stays that way. Like any tool, a manual pump lasts longer with a little TLC. First rule, keep it clean. Wipe down the handle and body every so often, especially in dusty or muddy environments. Keep insects and critters out by placing a cap or mesh screen over the spout. Next, check the seals and gaskets every few months. If you notice the handle gets too loose or it's not drawing water as efficiently, you might have worn seals. These are usually easy to replace. Just unbolt the head, pull out the plunger assembly, and swap the rubber washers or cups. Also, during freezing weather, drain the pump after each use. Ice can crack metal and ruin the system. Most pumps have a small drain hole. Open it up and water escape before it sits and freezes overnight. And finally, test your pump monthly. Don't wait until an emergency. Keep it in regular use or at least prime it now and then to make sure it's pulling clean water. Take care of your pump and it'll return the favor year after year, drought after storm, blackout after blackout. Let's play a mental game. If you had to live on your current water backup setup for 30 days, could you? Seriously, could you bathe, cook, clean, and drink without your faucet? If not, this pump might be your best future investment. Upgrades, add-ons, and smart customizations. You've got your pump installed. It's working, but why stop there? Let's talk about how to upgrade and customize your setup for maximum ease, efficiency, and style. First up, think storage. Connect your manual pump to a gravity-fed holding tank or rain barrel. That way, you can pump in batches, store water, and distribute it around your home or garden more easily. Next, consider installing a check valve or a small foot valve inside the pipe to help maintain pressure and make priming easier. You can also add a frost-proof sleeve if you're in cold areas. It keeps the pipe insulated and prevents freezing. Got a garden? Hook up your pump to a drip irrigation system or install a spigot splitter with a hose. Yes, it's a manual pump, but you can still water like a pro. Want to go fancy? Some setups allow hybrid use, where a manual pump sits alongside a solar pump. When there's sun, let it do the work. When it's dark or stormy, go manual. That's true resilience. And don't forget a pump cover or small roof structure to shield it from the elements. A clean pump is a reliable pump, the pump that powers your freedom. So there you have it, a no electricity, muscle powered, rock solid manual water pump build that belongs on every off-grid property, homestead, or even urban backyard prepping setup. When you install one of these, you're not just adding a utility, you're making a statement. I take my self-reliance seriously. You're saying that when the storm hits or the grid fails, you won't be scrambling, you'll be ready, calm. Pumping water with a grin, this isn't just a tool, it's a lifeline. And in a world where so much is out of our control, 
Building systems like this gives you control back. Every drop of water from that pump is a reminder. You built this, you earned this, and you can do so much more. So if you got value from this build, give this video a like and consider subscribing for more no-nonsense, practical off-grid essentials. Whether it's water, shelter, food, or power, we're building a future where you're in charge. Until next time, stay strong, stay prepped, and never forget, when the lights go out, the pump still works.